So what's the deal with copy-paste? It's copy-paste. It's straightforward. You can copy things from anywhere you want and paste those things anywhere you want, in the same project, in a different project. But you're not here for only that. In fact, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're looking for advanced techniques, as copy-paste provides almost literally, except not literally, the equivalent of strapping a solid-fuel rocket booster to your design process, improving your workflow efficiency by a factor of 10 to the 14th power. That's what we'll cover today. We'll start with a single element, then we'll copy over an element that has child elements, then we'll cover what happens if there's a conflict with styling, classes. And after that, we've created separate content that covers how to use copy-paste to create a UI kit for all the common components you've built and want to reuse, and even more content that covers how to use HTML tags as a starting point for styling a project. Let's do single element. Here's a heading. We know it's a heading because at the top it says heading. Let's copy it, and we'll go over to another project here and paste it. That's it. That's copy-paste for a single element. What about multiple elements? Here's a section, and the section has multiple child elements. Each of these has classes. They have styling applied. Just select the section, copy, go over to another project, paste. Notice how all the elements were pasted in, but also each of the styles, each of those classes, including the section's background image, made it over two. Again, that's it. That's copy-paste for an element with children. Let's end by covering copy-paste conflicts. Suppose we have a blue button in Project A. It has a class attached to it called Beautiful Button. We copy it, and then over in the Destination Project, Project B, we paste. It works perfectly. It still has the Beautiful Button class applied. But what happens when we go back to Project A and then change the background color? Suppose we change the background color to a deep red. Let's copy it, go over to Project B. What will happen when we paste? The styling change was detected, and on paste, a separate class was created. Beautiful Button 2. So that's dealing with conflicts. Now, as a final note, there are times when pasting in something might look a bit different. Once you paste it, it doesn't look exactly like it did in the source project where you copied it. In this case, it's inheriting that styling. The heading is grabbing that text styling from another source. So just like every other text-based element, it can inherit styling from any of its parent elements. Remember, this heading, when it comes to text, can take its styling cues from its parent element, which can take its styling cues from the body, which can take its styling cues from Rob Lowe. This can also happen with HTML tags. So if you paste in a paragraph, for instance, and you notice something funky, maybe it's not looking identical, on the new project, the one where you pasted the paragraph, simply check out the all paragraphs tag. In this case, in the new project, we added some line height to our default paragraphs, right in our all paragraphs tag. But that's it. We can copy paste a single element, we can copy paste something that contains other elements, and we can even copy paste conflicting classes, which simply end up creating a new class. Again, we've created additional content, which covers using a UI kit to save tons of time during prototyping, design, development, and we've created content that covers how to use HTML tags as a starting point for styling a project. And that is copy-paste.